Hello and welcome to my screencast for Accounting 1110, Chapter 1. In Chapter 1, we have a tough concept that we uh, need to master. It's easy enough to learn when we're in Chapter 1, but somehow when we move forward into Chapter 2 and 3, the idea gets convoluted. So I want to spend a little extra time on it right now and make sure that with each chapter we're keeping this idea straight in our mind. If you learn the idea of the basic accounting equation in chapter one and that idea is that when you record transactions they always leave the basic accounting equation intact. The basic accounting equation is assets which are things that we own equal liabilities which are things that we owe plus owner's equity. Owner's equity is a residual interest and it would equal assets minus liabilities and it's essentially how much of an interest the owner has in the assets of the business. In chapter 1 we expanded this basic accounting equation in the area of owner's equity and the expanded accounting equation kept assets intact and liabilities intact but it broke owner's equity out into the four accounts that tend to make it up. There is owner's capital, owner's which increase, owner's equity, owner's drawings which decrease the total of owner's equity, revenues which increase the total of owner's equity, and expenses which decrease the owner's equity. So, owner's equity has four different types of accounts that live within it. When an owner makes an investment in the business, that is recorded into the capital account and it makes owner's equity bigger. When the owner withdraws assets from the business for personal use, that is recorded into the owner's drawings account and that makes owner's equity smaller. When the business generates revenue, that increases owner's equity. Let's say we're an accounting firm and we perform services for someone and are paid. We would increase cash, an asset, and we would increase revenues. Revenues is a component of owner's equity and when you have revenues it makes owner's equity bigger. Any expenses we incurred in generating those revenues would be recorded into expense accounts. Expenses make total owner's equity smaller. So owner's equity has four different types of transactions that affect it. Two, which have the nature of making it bigger, investments and revenues, and two, which have the nature of making it smaller. As the draws and expense accounts get bigger, they make owner's equity smaller because they decrease it. So when you're working with the basic accounting equation, it's important to remember it has four different types of accounts that are included within it and the four, the sum of the four of those accounts, two of which increase and two of which decrease, are shown in the basic accounting equation as the total of owner's equity. Remember that as we move into chapter two and things will get easier. I'll continue to draw your attention and come back to this idea as we progress. Looking forward to moving on to chapter two with you. Talk to you soon. Bye now.